Hello, uh, this video is a repost of the Stranger of Paradise spreadsheet that I was working on and uh, it'll be a link in the description or also if you do a search for Stranger of Paradise spreadsheet, the Reddit will show up that has the link to this spreadsheet. Uh, and this spreadsheet is in place of a wiki because the wiki was taking me, um, in, in short, the spreadsheet I was doing 15 times faster than anything I was updating on the wiki. So uh, anyone feel free to take the information and populate a wiki of your choice. Uh, some of the community are currently working at the Final Fantasy Fandom Wiki, and they'd appreciate your contribution there uh, if you'd like to, to help out. Um, so uh, also, if you get... Uh, if if you're opening this on mobile, you might get a request for access or it might ask you for a Gmail account. You do not need either of those. Uh, copy the link, paste it into a browser, and uh, open that up that way. Uh, if you're on the desktop and you're trying to make a copy of this spreadsheet, uh, make sure that you're not opening the mobile link because then you won't get access to file to be able to make a copy and be able to take out information, format it, change it, uh, do whatever you want with it. Um, so just kind of the heads up there. And then uh, we have on the desktop version, we have the sheet tabs across the bottom and the little arrows to kind of scroll towards the right. And then on mobile, you'd have the, the, the tabs across the top to try to navigate frequently asked questions about players that um, thinking maybe about buying the game, maybe you have a friend or uh, that's thinking about buying the game and some questions that are commonly asked that are not in the realm of subjectivity. Uh, some of them probably are, but um, like, oh, how much is it full co-op? Is it cross-platform? Those types of questions, as well as post-credits, like where do I go after I beat the DLC? Oh, sorry, beat the base game or some uh, like end game questions after you beat the third DLC. Um, it does not have any performance related questions or troubleshooting. So um, th that unfortunately I could not cover and I would recommend you reach out to Square Enix, uh, their customer support site um, and uh, to try to get a response from them. Uh, but yeah, the other parts of the spreadsheet are the uh, looking at the different jobs uh, base game as well as DLC specific jobs and uh, advancements of those jobs. Uh, jobs in greater detail, such as like oh, the different notes, uh, passives, combo ability effects, uh, where to unlock the level increases after you beat the, uh, the first playthrough, uh, those types of things, as well as what are the job affinities? What do they do? when something says uh it it says like okay night to 50 percent uh in, in the, the the short of that is do not go out of your way to get that um but it's like what what do these things do how much do they give if if we know the value uh and we'll try to paste that here now if you really hate this view uh you also have views two and three based on other spreadsheets that were created in the past and got some feedback and said, could you make your spreadsheet look like theirs? It's like, okay. Um, but also the heads up, if you see something that looks really weird, like I'm in the base game, what the heck is 600% or 800%? Uh, those are DLC specific job affinities. Also the DLC two link, uh, if you're trying to figure out what the accessories do, that'll be uh, here as well as uh, you also could check the battle settings and go through the jobs and check all the 400% effects until you see the one that has the one accessory that you have. Uh, also, if you want to look at end game, what do the job affinity 800% uh, do? How much stats do they give? Uh, Coma compiled a spreadsheet here with a formula so that you can calculate and figure that out or just a rough idea of what to invest in. Um, say, uh, so yeah, the accessory thing, you can check the accessories that uh, from the second DLC onward. And then, oops. And then we have 
what do the summon stats do or stat explanations like even though the end game will have some information about what the strength do what does agility do or what does spirit do uh, there are some things in the game that are not mentioned that were on the the website for the patch notes and so i took some of that information verified it other people in community verified it and then we put it here um so that's that's uh something there um and then uh summon stats where you can kind of figure out how much stats do you get or just a rough idea of like hey i'm a sword fighter and i want more strength which one gives you the most strength odin okay good maybe i want more agility well, how do I, which one get oh fenrir so just a rough idea of how much stats you get every 100 percent of a blessing in the second dlc and onward or you can also look at coma spreadsheet that has a more accurate formula uh, if you really want to calculate that or just to get a rough idea of which blessing is going to give me the stats that i want for this particular job uh, there's also a fashion page um, just a rough idea of what the different armors look like on, on different characters. Uh, this Warrior of Light thing keeps showing up and disappearing. But yeah, just, just an idea of what uh, some of the gear could look like. And then um, and then some enemy abilities towards the end. Uh, if you're using blue magic and you kind of want a rough idea of like what do these some of these things do. Uh, but just a rough idea. Uh, and then anything else is kind of experimental or hidden intentionally or just you don't really need to know the specifics of how much you get, only that you're going to get something uh, for like stats, for example. Uh, but yeah, the estimated potency, that, that ignore the potency column because I did not retest this for damage dealt, break damage, or the underlying potency. And, um, but just know that you can check this spreadsheet if you really want for what is the attack what kind of stat bonus does it give or i'm sorry uh could what stat benefits this other than strength or intellect how much mp does it cost what kind of damage type does it do and are there any particular notes that you should be aware of like some things are just absolutely bugged um so yeah just sort of the heads up there but um yeah hopefully this doesn't go too long crap this is a long video anywho uh if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out on the Discord, uh, preferably out in the open because uh, other people can answer the questions um, as well. So, uh, or if you post on the Stranger of Paradise Reddit, um, either of those two ways, uh, just because uh, there's more eyes on it and they'll be able to answer your questions. Uh, if if it's within the realm of something that we might know. But yeah, uh, I hope that helps. And uh, until next time.